Many of us have been waiting for the parasha of Mishpatim, the parasha of this week, dealing with society, dealing with mitzvot that are connected to the social laws. Because for the past year now, America is going through a crisis called social injustice. At least that's how they call it. And especially this past week, the world is watching the second impeachment trial of former President Trump. And the word that we keep on hearing is justice. Justice, trial, witnesses, prosecutors, defense attorneys, etc., etc. And I think that is probably the best opportunity for us to reflect on what our Torah says about justice, on the values that we as Jews are supposed to defend. Because let's all remember, HaKadosh Baruch Hu chose us because he then, by Avraham Avinu, said, Ki yedativ, because I know him, Lema'an asher yetzaveh et banav ve'et beto aharav, that he will command and he will teach and educate his children and descendants to be a generation of la'asot tzedakah u mishpat. That we are the symbol of tzedakah and mishpat. Mishpat known as justice. But let's remember that this pasuk is carrying those two words together. Tzedakah and mishpat. Tzedakah means kindness. Tzedakah means charity. And only when we have tzedakah, we have mishpat as well. In fact, every day in the Amidah, we have a whole paragraph, a whole beracha dedicated for justice. Hashiva shofetenu kevarishona, we ask God to return our dayanim, our judges. And we end the beracha with Baruch Ata Hashem Melech Ohev, tzedakah u mishpat. Once again, Justice is tied very, very much to the concept of tzedakah as well. And as we look in the parasha of Mishpatim, the parasha that is the symbol of what justice is according to Yahadut, according to Judaism, we realize that this is really what the whole parasha is about. I'm going to take probably the first example of the Torah, the most controversial example of what we in the Torah consider a normal social law, the one that is abolished by every single Western system. The modern society abolishes completely slavery, and yet the Torah is not scared to talk about slavery. But the way we describe slavery is so different than the way the non-Jews see slavery. Ki tikne eved ivri, says the Gemara in Masechet Kiddushin, mikan hakone eved shekana adon le'atzmo. When the master, so to speak, would acquire a slave, says the Gemara, if you find yourself in a situation that there are two mattresses, one comfortable and one much less comfortable, one that is a king size and the other one that is just a twin size, well, guess according to the halacha, who gets the most comfortable bed? That's right, the slave, the avid. Ma shekana avid kana indeed. But at the same time, the real Adon, the real master becomes the avid. And we can go on and on. Even by the Amma Ivriyad, this little girl who is also sold as a maid servant. What a cruel situation. How can the Torah tolerate such a thing? Well, my dear friends, the mitzvah that is upon the Adon, upon the master, is Ya'ud. What is Ya'ud? The Adon has a mitzvah from the Torah to marry of his own son to this girl, to this maidservant who is probably coming from a very poor family. This is the way that we define in the Torah social laws. This is Mishpatim. This is justice. It is full of tzedakah. And we can go on and on in the parasha. Loans are a mitzvah. You have to help him out. Help him with the loan. And if necessary, obviously, tzedakah. How many times do we have in the Torah 
the obligation to give matanot. If it's the Kohen, if it's the Levi, if it's the Ger, the Yatom, the Almana, the Ani, it's everywhere. As if to be an owner of a land comes with so many obligations that we wonder what kind of system are we? Well, it is actually capitalism with the underlying message of help each other. You have to work to make a living. You have to fight your way up. But don't ever forget those who are vulnerable. Tzedakah u mishpat, this perfect balance for the perfect world. This is the model of mishpatim. This is the model that the Torah wants us to adapt, to be the proud children and descendants of Avraham Avinu and the ones who deserve to be truly chosen by Bore Olam as the Am Harnivchar, as the chosen nation. But it doesn't stop there. Because in the end, we must remember something that is absolutely crucial. Forget about the what and the how is the best system of justice. It's something that we must remember about who really does justice. I remember back in the days in the yeshiva where I learned from one of my rabbis a tremendous lesson that until today we must remember and remind ourselves. A judge in the court does not do justice. He applies the law. This is all that we do. To accept two witnesses that tell us that this person this, did this or that doesn't mean at once we apply the law that we are the ones making justice. In fact, the Pasuk says, Elohim nitzav ba'adat el. It is impossible for us as humans to see the whole picture and to dare think that we can apply, just, that we can make justice in the world. It is not a black and white world. And when we sentence someone to any kind of punishment, there is a series of people that will actually get inflicted and punished for that. And for that reason, it is not in our hands to really make justice. We must remember that Bore Olam is the one who does justice. And the judge that applies the law, that says what the Torah says, is only a shaliyah, a messenger of God's justice. This is why the parasha starts with the vav. Ve'ele hamishpatim asher tasim lifnehem. Because in the end, we come out from parasha titro, a parasha given in Har Sinai. And Hashem insisted that Moshe Rabbeinu explains to the Jewish people, Ma elu b'sinai afhem b'sinai, the same way that I give you in Matan Torah laws that are divine. All the social laws are beyond logic, are beyond the rational and the moral that we can convince ourselves of. And we must remember that the laws in the Torah are divine. The social laws in the Torah are all coming from Hashem because in the end, he is the one who truly does justice. Our job is just to apply the law. And how do we apply the law? That is the sentence that must resound and resonate in our ears. La'asot tzedakah u mishpat. Only when you are a tzaddik, only when you perform tzedakah, only when you are a kind, a person who shares with others, only then HaKadosh Baruch Hu does mishpat. HaKadosh Baruch Hu does justice. We do not have the monopole of justice. We do not have the monopole of the emet. We are only following the divine orders of Bore Olam. What, how, and who does justice is definitely a question that still needs to be answered. But once we open Parashat Mishpatim, hopefully the answers come a little bit clearer. And we remember this phrase, that we are the people who believe in justice and who hold justice because we are first tzedakah. May HaKadosh Baruch Hu help us to be Mekadesh, His name in public. And may we see, Be'ezrat Hashem, Hashiva Shofetenu Kevalishona and true justice in the world. Amen. Shabbat Shalom Umborach.